Okay, so now we will talk about domain and range and graphing functions of several variables. Let's start with a few examples. We have f of xy equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. How do we uh, try to understand the domain and range of this function? Well, domain is the same idea as that one, which is what inputs can you put here and the formula will not complain and the formula will be able to give you an output or the rule that has been specified here will give you an output. Uh, for this particular formula, x and y can be any value, x could be positive or negative, y could be positive or negative, it could be zero because x square plus y square will always be positive or zero and square root will not complain about that. So here the domain is all of R2, right? Every x, y point and R2 can be plugged in there and will give, you, give us a value. The range. Range is the set of all possible values of function outputs. Since this is the square root, and this convention, as you know, means the positive square root of a number, uh, the values here of the range would be uh, including 0, so 0 to infinity, right? To all positive numbers you can see. Okay? That was an easier example. Let's do a slightly more sophisticated example f of xy equals 1 over x squared minus y squared. Now, denominator, denominator cannot be 0. It was or negative, but cannot be 0. So domain, let's check when is denominator 0. So x squared minus y squared equals 0 gives us um, x squared equals y squared. Which we solve, we get x equals plus minus y. So in the tool R2, x equals y is this line, x equals minus y, uh, sorry, oh, it's correct. y equals x, usually we say y equals x and y equals minus x are these two lines. So any point on this line, 3, 3. You cannot plug 3, 3 here. But you cannot also plug 3, uh, negative 3, 3, right? Negative 3, 3 will give you 0 as well. So any of these points are, uh, are none of these points are in the domain. So we could say domain is R square except x equals y and x equals negative y. Or y equals x and y equals negative x. The range. This value can be negative if y squared is bigger than x squared and it will be positive. And by, by uh, you know, choosing a proper values of x and y, you can make any value down here, which means 1 over this can be any value. So it will be all possible values. The only value you cannot get, of course, 1 over something is cannot be a 0. So it's r except 0. Right? I'm using set notation there. I'm saying all of our except 0 as well. This function will never answer you 0 no matter what input you give it. Okay? Uh, let's do one more example. f of x, y equals 64 minus x squared minus y squared all square rooted. Now, square root um, does not like negative inputs. So, this, we have to do the math here to see when is this guy um, bigger than or equal to 0, right? Because that's where the domain is. So 64 minus x squared minus y squared has to be bigger than or equal to 0, which if you do the math, x squared plus y squared is less than equal to 64. What is x squared plus y squared equals 64? That's the circle of radius 8. And x squared plus y squared less than or equal to 64 is all circles of less than or equal to radius 8, which means all the points inside the circle. So the domain uh, is here 8, here is 8, this is your domain, right, including the boundary, right, any point outside the circle, you plug it, the function is not going to like it, 
You plug, for example, 10 is 0. 64 minus 10 square, which is 100, is already negative. The square root cannot take a negative number as an input. So the domain is, we could write it as the set of all x, y's such that x squared plus y squared is less than equal to 64. Okay? We can write it this way. Um, or you could verbally describe it as the set of all points on the circle x squared plus y squared equals 64 as well as on the circle of radius 8 centered at the origin as well as inside it. All those points are domain. And the range, the range also is a little bit trickier. Um, you see, the range, the biggest, the inside of the square root can be 64 if you make x and y 0. So, six, square root of 64 is 8, and if you make x square, y square closer to this edge, it goes towards 0. So, the range is from 0 to 8. Alright? Okay. Um, the, uh, yeah, so that was about domain and range of functional server variables. In the next video, we will look at the, uh, uh, looking at the graphs of functions of server variables.